special report from your Seattle City Life. Summer in Seattle, when the clouds take a vacation, the sun shines, and community festivals blossom like annuals throughout our city. We enjoy our festivals because it's time to have fun, meet our neighbors, enjoy good food, and even learn a thing or two that may help us make it through the upcoming long, wet winter. Hi, my name is Yan Chen. I work for Seattle City Light, and it's Thursday, the day before the opening of the Central Area Community Festival. As you can see behind us, there's lots of work that goes into making a successful festival. The folks behind us are constructing the Echo Village. The Echo Village is the product of a collaboration between Seattle City Light and Seattle Public Utilities. And we're hoping to give people a hands-on experience of how they can easily save lots of resources in and around their home. So let's have a look. Are you coming? Come on. Let's start in the bathroom. Your bathroom sink is a great place to start because changes are so easy. Take out your old aerator and install a water saver low flow aerator. And most of the time you don't even need special tools. The shower is another place where you can rack up big savings. This is a low flow shower head. It can use as much as half the, uh, the flow of a normal shower head. And finally, we've got the toilet. This is a 1.6 gallon toilet. If you have an older toilet, you can use about five to seven gallons. And you know how many times you flush a toilet every day. That's a lot of water and money down the drain. Let's have a look at the laundry room. This is a resource efficient clothes washer. Some people know them as front loaders because of where the door is. One of these units will use 60% less energy and 40% less water than a conventional top-loading machine. That's because it doesn't have to put as much water into the, uh, into the drum. Top loaders, you have to fill all the way up to the top. You've got a little bit of water down the bottom. The drum turns and picks the clothes up, drops them down. That's the mechanical part of the cleaning. It's very gentle, and it does a great job of cleaning your clothes. Right now, you can get a $100 combined rebate from Seattle Public Utilities and Seattle City Light if you buy one of these for your home. And here's the water heater in the laundry room. A lot of people have their water heaters in places where they're out of the way. But keep in mind that all of the hot water conservation that you're doing in your house, you can trace right back to this machine. So since 40% of your light bill can be from your water heater, it's very important that it be efficient and we recommend that you set the temperature at 120 degrees where it's nice and safe. This is a, a lamp that you'd likely see in your living room. It's a torchier lamp, but unlike most of the ones that are out there now, this one has a fluorescent bulb. Not the halogen type that generate a tremendous amount of heat. You could fry an egg on one of those. In fact, we have in some of our demonstrations. And this is a nice fluorescent. It produces a great white light, and it's very safe, too. Let's go outside the home now. Lots of houses in Seattle have lawns and gardens, so we've included a section for salmon-friendly practices in those areas at the Echo Village. Okay, we're going to talk with Diana Herbst. Diana works with the uh, Master Composter Program and Seattle Tilt. Hi, Diana. Uh, what are you doing here? What is this? I'm moistening the bedding for a worm bin. I've just finished taking out the old bedding, and I'm putting in new bedding. Once I get it nice and moist, I'll put my worms in there, and then I will have a place that I can bring my food scraps and transform them into worm castings with the help of the worms, mm -hmm. and then bring it out into my garden and use it as a soil amendment. Oh, great. So I don't have to throw away my vegetables now. No, you can actually use the broccoli scraps to grow more broccoli, or better yet, a vegetable you like. <laughs> Terrific. And uh, yes, what is this? Is this Darth Vader's hat? Not exactly Darth Vader's hat. This is a uh, yard waste composting system called the Earth Machine that Seattle Public Utilities subsidizes. There are classes throughout the spring, summer, and fall where you can attend one, figure out what you're supposed to do, and take one home with you if you're a Seattle resident. Uh, you put your materials in on the top, and there's a door at the bottom where you slide it up and dig out the good stuff, which, again, you can use as a soil amendment in your garden. 
and compost will both help the soil fertility, maintaining moisture in the soil, um, which will help the salmon in the long run. And uh, it also cuts down on your bills. Great. So I can just scrape my dinner plate into this, right? Uh, only if you want to set up a bed and breakfast for rats. Oh, I don't want to do that. No. If you want, if you want to scrape your dinner plate, the worm bin or the homemade digester would be it. Ah. The yard waste is for yard waste. Okay. So this is a home digester. What that is. Looks a like a garbage can to me. Uh, only to the uninitiated eye. Uh -huh. This is actually a homemade food waste composter. You uh -huh. start with a garbage can, uh -huh. then you take a drill, and you take a drill bit and make sure it's quarter inch or smaller and you drill about 20 holes on the bottom and sides mm -hmm. and find a place in your yard that you can dig a hole, bury it all the way down past the holes, put the food, put the soil back around the sides and then you can start feeding it your food scraps. Okay, that sounds like a great idea. What else do we have to look at here, Diana? Oh, we've got appropriate planting techniques. Right. We've got plants that are both natives and drought tolerant plants. Um, you know, why, why spend a lot on your water bill if you can grow sage instead? Um, heathers, all sorts of wonderful plants that grow really well in our yard. Um, and also, we have a mulching lawn mower. Oh, yes. Can we have a look at that? Absolutely. Oh, I recognize this. Yes, this may look like an ordinary lawn mower, <laughs> but in the hands of a professional, mm -hmm. it becomes a mulching lawn mower. Okay. Basically, mm. basically mulching lawn mowing is cutting the grass and cutting one-third of it, letting that one-third of the grass lie on the grass so you don't rake it up. Oh, I like that. I thought you would. Um, and you let the nitrogen from the grass break down and fertilize the grass that is still growing. It cuts down on both, obviously, haulage bills and um, fertilizer, and uh, it increases the health of your soil so you don't have to worry about getting something like weed and feed, which would then you know, run off and poison our salmon. Right, we have to be concerned with the salmon. And this sounds like something that would appeal to a lazy person like me. I prefer to think of it as efficient use of energy. Ah, thank you. <laughs> We've had a chance to look at just a few things you can do in and around your home to save resources. If you'd like more information, visit our website at www.cityofseattle.net slash light or call the Conservation Helpline at 684-3800. I'm Yen Chin with Seattle City Light. Thanks for being with us.